Hey, 8th Grade Tech, uh, welcome back. Uh, second video of the year. Today I got something fun for you, though, in Word. Uh, we're going to contemplate a dream vacation today. All right, so I already have Moodle pulled up, as you can see. Um, I have a couple files already posted. Let's click on Dream Vacation Directions first. Okay. out of that downloads box okay now here we have our vacations for our or I'm sorry directions for our dream vacation all right now this is gonna be just our directions we actually have a template that we're going to use that goes along with these directions we're not actually gonna do use the directions on this document okay and here is our template that's actually Number one, open the dream vacation template on Moodle to start your assignment. Okay, so here is our dream vacation template. Okay. Let's do that one. Ah, there we go. Okay, now that I have both of them up, let's just minimize Moodle. Okay, now I'm going to put them side by side so I can see Directions, and I can see the template at the same time. It's a thing of beauty, really. Okay, so I already did number one. All right, on to number two. Go to the View tab. Okay, now we want to make sure that this one is the one that we're um, editing on Word. So we got to make sure we click somewhere on here. Oh, I like that. Make sure this is one this is in front of the other one. You can see this. The color is a little faint here. Okay, that's what we want. So, first of all, we're going to go to the View tab. Okay, right here. Click View. Click Zoom. We want to change. We want to zoom it in a little closer so it's a little bit bigger for us to read. So we have it at 75% right now. Not going to cut it. We want it at 100. Okay, so click 100 and then click OK. Ah, oh, ah, I can see it much better now. Okay, so, number two is in the books. Number three wants us to highlight the title. Go ahead and with your cursor, highlight the title. And we want to make, want us to, it wants us to make it bold, so, all right. Mine's already pulled up, but if you need to, you want to go into, uh, there it is, in view, under toolbars, and we want to click on the formatting toolbar. Okay, I actually got rid of it, so let me go back in and bring it back up. Formatting. Okay, then it'll bring this stuff up there. We'll be able to just hit bold from there. Okay, so we hit bold. Excellent. We want to change the font size to 28. It's on 20 right now, so font size 28. Change the font style to Comic Sans MS. Okay, so there's Comic Sans. Where are you, Comic Sans? Ah, it's up there because I clicked on it earlier today. You guys will probably find it somewhere in this. Oh, there it is. It's there. It's right there, too. Comic Sans. And we just want to do the regular one. So Comic Sans. Good. Number three is finished. Okay, so number four. Okay, on the um, click the Insert tab. We're gonna now we're gonna insert a header. Um, now a header is something that'll appear towards the top of your document. Okay, I don't know why I'm pointing. I'll just point at it with the cursor. You guys can't see me pointing. Okay, so it'll it'll be somewhere up in this region, the header, before all the other text starts. Okay, so let's hit insert. We'll go to document elements, and then click on headers. All right. I want you guys to click on that second one that says document title and has a number sign next to it. So we'll go ahead and click on that one. Okay. Now where it says type the document title, we're just going to click on that once. That's all I need to do. Just type in your name. Okay. Let's put in mystery fort, right? It's in all caps, so that's just the way it's going to pop up. Once we have our name in there, Close it out. All right. So that's number 
four. On to number five. Or, I'm sorry. I don't want that. We're getting rid of that number five. Yeah, I don't know why that popped up. Okay. So if that pops up on yours, just, just get that rid of that one. We don't want, I don't want to change margins on this one. Okay, so the new number five. Uh, in the space below the first line, so let's click our cursor right here and hit return. Okay. Okay. We are going to uh, put numbered bullets here so we could list our top favorite top five favorite places. So let's go to format bullets and numbering and you could pick either one of these two I'm gonna pick the one with the half parentheses because I like that one it looks nice okay so I'm gonna put Hawaii for my number one all right number two just for the sake of time in the video I'm just gonna put second favorite place third favorite place place Turn fourth, okay, and so on. You guys will actually be putting places in there. I just want to do this for the sake of time, and for, because we're recording. Okay, so I have my uh, top five favorite places. Um, for number six, we want to write why we want to go there. So. We're going to do is after put our cursor after our first favorite place, hit return. And now we're going to do something um, to increase the indent here so we can put a little subscript under number one. Now, okay, this is why you need your formatting. You need to pull up your formatting bar. All right. We want to find our increase indent button. And now we didn't really go over this one, but it kind of looked, it looks like the alignment buttons, only there's an arrow pointing inward. It's right here. Okay, so if we click on that, uh, we see that that two turns into a subscript of number one, and um, we could type type in why we want to go there. All right, want to go to this place because, and you, then you guys will explain why you want to go there to me. Only about a, take about a sentence or so. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste this. Okay. Paste. Get rid of B. Just hit the delete button, go back to there. Hit return again. Tab. Okay. I'm sorry, yeah, when you hit return you want to hit the tab button to get that A to pop up again. Okay. Edit. Right click and paste. Turn, tab button, paste, delete, get back to there. Ah, last one. Okay. Excellent. Okay, now we have our top five favorite places and why we want to go there. Okay, on to number seven now on our directions. Okay, do the same thing for your uh, list of three things. All right. Uh, uh, three things you could, not, you could not go on vacation without. So, again, we gotta, we'll do the uh, format, bullets and numbering. Okay. Number one, uh, first thing. Second thing, turn, third thing, okay, and then again, we'll hit return here, our indent button, okay, why we, why we can't go without it, so we should probably start the sentence like this. with out this because okay 
and you guys will explain to me why. So edit. I'm sorry, right click, copy. Okay. And then we'll hit paste right here. Paste. Right click, paste. Okay. Again, we don't need to delete those bees when they pop up. We don't want that. All right. So number, we're now on to number eight. Highlight the two lines that you put your bulleted lists underneath. So that's going to be our first uh, two directions there. Okay, so we want to highlight these. We want to highlight the first one. Change the font size to number 18. Ah, that makes it pop out a little bit so we know uh, what all the bullets and numbering is for. Okay. Let's highlight the second one. At 18. Oh, it wants us to highlight them also. Okay, so. Or, I'm sorry, underline them. Wow. Okay, so there's our underline button. Click that. Now that's underlined. Okay, let's go back up to this one because we didn't underline it. And underline. Awesome. Wow, look how pretty that looks. That's beautiful. That's the thing of beauty, really. Okay. Okay, now. Now, we have to decide which one of our top five uh, vacation destinations is our favorite. And that's why I put Hawaii on there. That's gonna, I'm going to go with that one. Okay. So once we find that out, we're going to go to Google, um, find a website that promotes that vacation spot. Um, and it has to be a good one, one with, with good information about the area and, and nice pictures on there. Okay. So... Let's pull up our browser again. New file, new tab. Okay. And go to Google. Okay. I'm going to type in Hawaii is a whole state, so I want to type in Hawaii beaches. So that's what I'm really talking about. Not just not the state, not the whole state. Just, just where the vacation stuff is at. So ah, I clicked on this before, but I'll, I like this one. Let's go to Hawaii, gohawaii.com. That looks like a good one. Okay, now. How do I know if this is a good one to look at now? All right, it talks about the, the beach, the, the beaches of Hawaii here. Names a couple, a couple suggestions. Shows all the beaches on each of the islands of Hawaii. So information looks good. Also have a couple cool looking pictures in there as well. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we want to keep that open because we're going to go back to that. Okay. Okay, now number 10. On the last line of the page, uh, this line right here, we didn't do anything with this one yet. Okay. All right, we want to insert a hyperlink there. Okay. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back in here. Let's copy the hyperlink. We'll just do. Uh, we'll just highlight over that. Right click, hit copy. We'll minimize that one again. Now over this, we want to just highlight over that. Hit paste. Okay, okay, there's our URL. Let's highlight over that again. Now we want to actually write words in there. We want to replace that hyperlink with actual words, make it look nice. So we're going to hit insert. Oh, my room's falling apart here. Oh, they're doing construction. That's great. Okay. Okay. Weird. Weird. Okay, so. I don't want that to actually display the hyperlink. I want that to say something. So let's just put something like uh, check out this information on Hawaii beaches. We'll, we'll spice it up with a couple exclamation points. Actually, let's do one. That's obnoxious. Okay, hit OK. Ah, look. Now, if we put our mouse over that, if we click on that, That's Jeopardy for you, for you young folks that don't know what I was just humming. Okay. Now her, oh, her Hawaii Beaches link is popping up. Wow, oh, it's taking forever though. Ah, see? Right from our Word document. So that's how we know that it worked. Okay. Okay, so. 
that's all number number 10 is a lot of, a lot of writing there but that's all I really want for number 10 okay so number 11 now we're gonna go to Google images to try to find a cool pic picture that best represents um, where we want to go on that vacation okay all right so let's just go back I like Hawaii Beach that's a good search Let's just we'll just click on images in Google, see what images pop up for Hawaii beaches. Ah, I think I really like that one. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on that. I'm gonna hit save as image. Okay. I'm gonna save that as Hawaii Beach picture. Okay, now I'm gonna save that to desktop. Okay, so it'll we'll see it right there when it pops up. Oh, there it is. Hawaii desktop, or, or Hawaii beach picture right on the desktop. Excellent. All right, now. Okay, once we have our, we save our picture. Let's see. We're going to, um, we're going to make this picture actually a watermark on our Word document. Okay, so. This is how we're going to do that. Make sure that's pulled up again. Hit insert. Now we see watermark under insert. Click on watermark. Okay. Now we want to click on picture. Select picture. Okay, it was in our desk. desk. This is in my desktop. You can save it to your either H drive or your desktop. Okay. I'm going to click on Hawaii Beach picture. Ah, beautiful. Insert. Okay. Now we want to get this check mark out of washout. See, we we actually see our picture. It shows us what our picture is going to look like behind our text. We leave that there. It doesn't do anything. I don't even know why that's there. That kind of makes me mad, Microsoft Word people. Okay. So for scale, I want you guys to put 600 in there. That's going to make that picture basically cover the whole back of your document. Okay. Let's hit OK and see what happens. Oh, baby. Look at that. That looks good. OK. Now, all right, we want to save this. All right, is that it? It looks like we're at the end here. OK. So 13, awesome job. All right, let's save this bad boy up and we'll put it on Moodle. OK, so we'll do File, Save As. All right. Now you guys are going to save this to your H drive, all right? You'll go to my computer, then your H or, or I'm sorry. No, you can save it to desktop. Go to desktop. Okay. Hit save. Excellent. All right. Back into Moodle. Okay, now you want to click under the forum, Dream Vacation, just say upload here in parentheses. We'll click on there. Add new discussion topic. Okay. I'm going to type in subject Dream Vacation. My room is going to explode. Okay. It's here. Okay. You can just put, actually, just put so I know you're finished. We hit add attachment, choose file. Okay. There it is. Choose. Okay, hold on. Desktop. Yeah, that one's it. Good. Upload file. Okay, we see it pops up in that box. Good. Post the forum. And you are done. Okay. Great job, folks. And I will see you next time.